So I have my stethoscope, my badge, my pen, my pen light, my watch, and my tennis shoes. And this is gonna be for my NG return. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Rachel, and I'm gonna be your nurse today. How's your morning been so far? Good, how, are you? how about you? Good. Good. Alrighty. I could go ahead and verify your name and birthday for me. Colleen Smith, July 28, 2000. Perfect. And do you have any allergies specifically to latex? No. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and lay this across for you because I'm going to be putting an NG tube in. It's going to, in case if we get any leakage. And I'm going to raise the head of the bed to at least 45 degrees or higher. Putting on my clean gloves. And what I'm going to start off doing is I'm going to um, check each nostril to see which nostril has the best airflow, and then that's going to be the one that we're going to put the NG tube in. So I'm just going to put my finger here and have you blow. Perfect. And now the other side. Awesome. And we're going to be using the right one because the airflow is best coming out of that one. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how far it needs to go in by measuring from... Uh, the tip of your nose to your tragus to the xiphoid process and I'm just going to wrap this at least six inches around my fingers to make the tube more flexible and now I'm going to measure just like your nose, tragus and down to your xiphoid process I'm going to take a piece of tape mark where it is and now I'm going to lubricate it and I'm going to hand you this. Um, my patient is going to be my helper because I don't have an extra person to help me this morning and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to rest this there. So I'm going to have you tilt your head all the way back for me. Perfect. I'm going to start putting it in. Once I see it in her oral cavity, I'm going to have you tuck your chin down to your neck. Perfect. And go ahead and start sipping your water for me. Awesome. Swallow, 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 swallow. Perfect. Now I'm going to secure the device by taping it to her nose. Normally I would tape it to the bridge of her nose, but it doesn't want to stick there, so I'm just going to tape it to the side. And the patient had minimal gagging, no trouble breathing while I was being put in, and no coughing. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a syringe and put 20 millimeters of air in there to um, see if it's in the correct spot and I'm going to be listening for a whooshing noise. Grabbing my syringe, putting the 20 milliliters in. And I heard the whooshing noise, so now I'm going to aspirate 5 milliliters of gastric content to test for the pH. Pulling out 5 milliliters, putting it in there. I'm going to take my test strip, put it in, and the pH should be less than 5. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see if x-rays is on um, the physician's orders to check if it's in the right spot. Then I'm going to hook this up to the suction, and per physician's order, it's going to be either um, a continuous low, which is going to be 30 to 40 millimeters of mercury, or intermittent high, which is going to be 120 uh, millimeters of mercury. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure it to her gown. Here I would use a rubber band and a safety pin but I don't have one so I'm just going to tape it there. And if you could go ahead and look left and right for me. Perfect. Let me move it a little. Do it one more time. 
Awesome. Do you have any discomfort while you do that? No. Perfect. First, I'm going to remove all of my supplies. Get rid of all of my trash. Take my gloves off. And I'm washing my hands. And then I would document my findings. 